Hello to my many friends out there on YouTube, also to my many illustrious enemies. Once again, this is Roosevelt with another episode of Roosevelt Sounds Off. This is Roosevelt Sounds Off Part 14. And today, I'm going to give you just a little bit, not going to be before you too long, but my Thanksgiving message. I only want to start off with a small passage, passage of scripture where it says that in all things, give thanks. It even want to quote a little bit of a song, and this is also in the scriptures. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for his mercy endure forever. And then the song even goes on to say, Oh, thank you, Lord, for what you've done from the rise of the um, from the dawn to, to the setting sun. Oh, my Lord, I do give thanks. And um, basically, I think what those two scriptures are trying to say, and even what the song is saying, that in the midst of our circumstances, no matter how it might feel, no matter how it might look, that no matter what, we should always give thanks. Right now, as many of you all know, in this country, we are experiencing a major problem of racism, of police brutality, of police even murdering young black boys, just like the officer Darren Wilson um, murdered Michael Brown in Ferguson, Missouri. But in all of that, we still must give thanks. I know within this country, we have tremendous mental problems. We have tremendous, tremendous marital problems and tremendous, even more tremendous financial and health problems. But in the midst of all of this, we must give thanks. I know that sometimes your jobs are not always so good, that you aren't making the money that you deserve to have, that some of you all could be driving around in cars that you can't afford to pay for and even afford to put gas in but in all things give thanks even in that you have to give thanks I know some of you all might be estranged from some of your families you might be all alone you might be lonely during this holiday season but even within that give thanks and I think the reason how come the psalmist in the Bible did say to give thanks in all of our situations, no matter how bad it is, no matter how it might look, is because no matter what it looks like and no matter what it could feel like, because I know that whenever you're going through, that it does not always feel good and it's not always good at all. But through God, it always is good because if you have to look at your situation, it can always be much worse than what it is. I know a whole lot of y'all are out here telling me, or you want to ask the question, Roosevelt, how could the situation that I'm in be a whole lot worse than what it is? I mean, I can give one good example. Some of y'all might complain about not having any shoes, but yet you could go into a hospital and see that there's not a man with any feet. As angry as I was with the whole Michael Brown situation in the grand jury not coming back with a, or choosing to indict Darren Wilson in the midst of my situation because I'm a past victim of Chicago police corruption in my thing or in my situation I can give thanks because I know that that easily could have been me who had been dead in that situation. I mean, because it's a whole lot of Michael Brown situations like out here, but I'm still alive and I'm still alive to talk about it. But my situation, I could have been dead and gone. I know a few years ago when I was sick in a nursing home with a bad infection in my leg that I am glad and thankful that they did catch it in time because if they had not, it's possible I could have lost my leg or at least at the most I probably would have needed a hip replacement. So even though I had to go through a painful surgery and it was something that caused a whole lot of pain and it kept me away from my home for two months because I was stuck in a nursing home learning how to walk again and in a wheelchair. I feel that in the end, and matter of fact I know because all the time I was in the nursing home I worked extremely extremely hard to get myself back to normal. 
And I worked and I know that it was not only me who was working. I know that it was God who was pushing me and on my side and cheering me on also. So I was blessed to be able to rise up again and walk around normally just like I always walk and still doing a whole lot of the things that I used to do. So even in that situation, even though it wasn't good and it didn't feel good at the time I was going through it, I still have to give thanks because I realized that I could have been, could have lost a leg or could have even died because there's nothing much more worse than that. Because these situations that we get in all the time, as bad as we think that it is, it might make us down, it might make us depressed, it's going to make us sad because whenever you're going through a trial, it never feels good when you are going through it. But we do have to realize that in the end, that no matter how bad it is, that it works for the good of you know those who are called to God's purpose. And that's something that, as much as I can tell you all this, and um, I'm not going to dare sit up here and try to say that I am perfect or that I have arrived because I know that I haven't. But I'm just trying to give you some words of encouragement. So right now, even though I'm talking to you, that I'm also talking to myself too. Because um, one thing a good, wise friend of mine told me is that when it comes down, if you're going to talk about the Word of God, that it cuts those who are hearing it as well as cuts those who are receiving it because in his word he did say that the Bible and that his word is a two-edged sword so it cuts both ways so if you all are getting cut by this I'm getting cut too because actually I'm talking to myself while I encourage you I'm encouraging myself to be much more thankful in my situation and being much more content about my situation because no matter what I realize that it can always be much worse. So I just stopped by for a second just to tell you all out here during this Thanksgiving day in this Thanksgiving season just to be thankful for what it is that um, you have for one another for your family and friends and just be happy and thankful that God has once again allowed you to be here in this day, on this very minute, in this very second, and just to be thankful for things being as well with us as what they are. So you always have to realize, and because you always have to realize that no matter what, to give thanks, because certain situations always can be worse. So I thank God for my life the way that it is, for allowing me to be able to live, for me not being swept up in that bad situation with Chicago police, for me surviving a health crisis, for me surviving at that time family and church hurt and even friendship hurt and in the end romantic hurt and I talked about a little bit of that in part seven. You know, I'm just thankful even for my family. I'm thankful for my mother to be still be with me even though my parents live in um, another state. I'm thankful for my mother reaching her 73rd birthday in September. I'm very thankful for my father, Roosevelt Sr., reaching his 80th birthday in January. Thankful for my brother, John. Thankful for my goddaughter, Dekayla, who's nine years old and will be 10 on um, next May. Because I know in, even out here in Chicago streets, there is a lot of eight, nine, and 10 year olds sometimes who are being gunned down through no fault of their own, but being gunned down because of the stupidness of unscrupulous individuals. Like, you know, a guy who was a gang member who killed a nine-year-old Antonio Smith some months ago this past summer. That could have easily been my goddaughter or any other nine or ten-year-old child. So I'm thankful for her life as well as the rest of my family and friends. So I'm just challenging you all just to be thankful for whatever it is that you have too. And meanwhile, I'll come to you all again later on. But right now, um, this is Roosevelt Sounds Off. Roosevelt Sounds Off Part 14. And um, I would like to wish all of you out there um, a very, very happy and blessed Thanksgiving. Once again, this is Roosevelt with Roosevelt Sounds Off, and I'll talk to you all soon. Be sure to comment and subscribe. Peace.